Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and uh, today we're going to do uh, another video on the Axon M. Uh, today you're going to get me, get to watch me make a complete idiot out of myself as I install a couple of these J&D screen protectors uh, on the uh, two screens on the uh, Axon M, or the Z999 if you want to call it that. I've never put a screen protector on anything, so this will probably be a debacle. But let's get right to it after the intro. Thanks. Let's go. Hi, folks. I'm just going to cut it in here. Uh, I've cut out all the other videos or segments on this uh, screen protector install because essentially, as far as I'm concerned, it was a complete failure. Not just on my part, but I don't think it's a very good product. Uh, the holes didn't line up on the front to where it fit on the back, and it seemed to have dust on the screen protector array. They're using the dust removal tool on the sticky part of the screen protector, that's not a good thing. And so, I'll, we're going to go to that, and then I'll be back and uh, I'll tell you about some other news about the uh, Axon M and my first whole day with it. We'll cover that real quick. Let's get to it. Okay, so uh, bottom line here, this, these J&D screen protector, uh, I can't recommend it. Uh, oh, now, remember, this is coming from a guy who has no clue what he's doing. You know, because he's never put a screen protector on. So, there might be a trick to it. But I had a front and a rear to do. You would think by the time I get to the rear one, I would have learned something. Uh, the rear one turned out far worse than the front, enough bubbles in there to sink a battleship. I've tried to work them out with my fingers and with a, you know, something hard on the edge. They don't want to move. Um, it, it just doesn't seem like it's one a very good product. Around the edges is mostly where it doesn't want to stick and it'll be really easy to peel it off. They could have made it a little smaller because of, of the curved edges. It seems to get over the curve and that means your fingers are gonna hit it and it's gonna start peeling it up and I don't know how long it has to sit no instructions on that well that it ends uh, our little video on the, the Axon M uh, protector install but what I will say is you should still put one on it. Maybe use a hard shell one. Maybe they're easier to put on. Uh, maybe there's a, a better brand out there. Bottom line. Uh, if you know all the cool ways of getting all them bubbles to not show up, I'll peel them off and try again tomorrow. But for now, I can do this. And it, before I did that, that phone was shot across the desk. Yeah, this thing was slicker than I'll be. So, we're going to leave it at that. So, as you saw, the, uh, the final results weren't very good there. So, uh, I used it all day today, though. I was very careful with it. And I had to determine one thing. If you just open it up and lay it down on the back side, which is aluminum, I'm not going to get any scratches. Screen. Sure, it's wide open, spread out, but oh well. Make sure you get a screen protector. Just don't get one of the J and D Tech ones, as far as I'm concerned. That's just me. Uh, so today I had to order some stuff on Amazon, something to test, a little another splitter kind of thing, the USB C. And uh, I like this thing well enough that 
Well, we're going to shoot videos and stuff. We're going to need an SD, you know, micro SD card in there. So I ordered another silicon power 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Very good luck with it in the uh, new mobile. I wasn't going to pull it out of there because I'll be going back to that someday. And I need the 32 gig card that's in here. It's adequate as long as I delete the videos right after I move them to the PC to edit them. And uh, there will be links in the description below for the SD card. And uh, of course for the Exxon M. Uh, which I believe is up to 131 now. Which is still a fantastic price for this phone. And then I suggest when you order it, find the highest rated screen protector you can. Now, if you're more familiar with me than using a screen protector, this was my first attempt, uh, go for it. All I can say is I didn't think this thing lined up, and I watched their videos on their website, and it totally differed from the instructions, and the drawings were horrible in the instructions. It looked like... Why would I be reaching underneath to peel this off? Like, go. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, it's just not the great product. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching the whole thing. Bye.